Captain Logan. I'm Vince. And it's time once again to recommend things. Vince, what do you recommend today? I recommend... A computer! No. I recommend a website. And due to the fact that I can't hold up a website, I hold up my laptop. There's my laptop. <laughs> that allows you to look at the website you're going to talk about. This thing is... Yeah, I probably shouldn't be slinging that around. Anyway. No, probably not. <laughs> Maybe you'll never look at that website again. Right. Oh, uh, no. I recommend a website called www.the-gutters.com. Or maybe it's the-gutter.com. Either way, you're going to see it below, so keep your eye out for that. I have researched it. So, it's... Post uh, creating this video. A friend of me sent... sent or a friend, a friend of mine sent me... A friend of me sent mine this, uh, <laughs> this, this thing on Facebook. He says, thought you might dig this. And it was just... Today a, we recommend grammar. It was just... <laughs> yes. And uh, I don't need grammar. I have grammar check. But... Uh, I'm assuming your laptop still works. <laughs> but uh, I get this uh, this email from him, and it's a, it's a link to this website, and I don't know what to expect. And I click on this thing, and it's the, the one of the funniest webcomics I've ever read. Now, now don't get angry, fanboys, but I do not like webcomics. I, 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 I can't stand them. There's a certain style that comes along with just about every webcomic written, and uh, I don't like it. However, The Gutters is... It's just a clever. It's a, it's a clever critique of the comic book industry. So the very first comic strip that they do is uh, is Steve Rogers dressed as Captain America without the mask on, speaking to Bucky Barnes, the new Captain America, as Captain America, and they they have jokes like, uh, "So you're you're alive again, right, Steve? Yes. So, but you're not Captain America, no." So, so what are you going to call yourself? I don't know, Steve, I guess. <laughs> so, so uh, it, they have a lot of clever jokes. Uh, at the, the most recent one I've read is they have 70 strips so far. And uh, they're really clever. Is it always comic book, or do they do other things based on comics? I've only read one that wasn't really based on a comic book. Okay. And it might be, I'm just not aware of what it is. It's, it's about a shark, and it's the most recent one as of yet that I've read. It's really strange. I don't get it. Maybe, maybe they're uh, maybe they're changing things a little bit. <laughs> See, they got well, sick of the comic thing, so now they're now they're into sharks. It's what's interesting. Maybe is you're it's almost... that shark figure. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, you have to be aware of what's currently going on in comics. I mean, you don't have to have read everything. You just have to be aware of it and to, to get a lot of this stuff. And they have jokes about the industry and the creators. And uh, the, I need, I need to look into this. That's they awesome. Have, they have an entire comic strip devoted to uh, making fun of Garth Ennis's style and pretty much the structure of all of his comics. So, uh, well, all of his comics save the Punisher because that's a very different thing. So, yeah. yeah yes. I, I do recommend this. It's clever, it's funny, and it's scathing at times. So, yeah, if you guys are a little bit irritated with comic books, with, the, with current comic books, but you still like it, go for it. I'm saying you're going to like it. Awesome. Oh, I, I'm going to read it. That sounds really cool. Today, um, I'm going to recommend something that most of the people watching this probably um, know about, but uh, I, I want to I bring it up in case, we, especially we have like younger viewers who don't know this, because uh, I think everybody should at least know about this. Um, I'm going to recommend uh, The Hitchhiker's Guide to the Galaxy. I'm going to recommend the... Uh, th this is actually the ultimate Hitchhiker's Guide. Uh, this is the complete and unabridged uh, book that has all of the Hitchhiker stories by Douglas Adams. Uh, Vince, have you ever read Hitchhiker? Nope, at all. Um, seen have the you, movie. Have you seen the movie? You saw the the, 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 the most recent movie? Um, the, the big budget one? Yeah. Okay, cool. Um, <clears throat> widescreen, no less. Uh, I could say all kinds of things about Hitchhiker. Um, the, 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 a lot of the reason that I'm bringing this up is because um, Hitchhiker has always been a really big influence on me, um, especially Douglas Adams' uh, uh, style. Um, I've always loved British humor, and I think in, in you know, some ways this is kind of the epitome of, of, of good, funny, uh, clever British humor. And um, this... Uh, influenced me a lot when I wrote my novel, and um, it's influenced me over the years in, in other things I've done also. Um, the thing about Douglas Adams is he is he was really clever, but he wasn't really a novelist. 
So, uh, you, as, if you if you read this, as you read um, the, the the different books, uh, and, and the first one still, I, I think, remains the, the the best the best of the Hitchhiker books uh, in, as far as the jokes go. But as the as the books progressed, and as he started writing other books. Um, because Hitchhiker wasn't all Douglas Adams did, um, he started getting a little bit uh, better about uh, narrative and um, figuring out how to uh, write plot and characters and actually, you know, having a cohesive plot. Uh, because because the, the first, especially the first Hitchhiker book, really is a lot more about um, about the jokes and the social commentary uh, than it is about. Um, the actual events that are happening, uh, and in fact, the, the 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 Hitchhiker's Guide to the Galaxy itself um, is, uh, is a device uh, that's used. You know, it's it's uh, it's this it's this electronic book that you speak into, and then it tells you about anything in the galaxy that you want to know about. And um, it's used as a device so that uh, so that Adams can stop the narrative at any point he wants to, and just start talking about silly things. And, uh, and and you'll read you know you'll get to a point uh, where the narrative basically just stops so that um, so that one of the characters can read an entry in the in the guide and the entry will go three or four pages and uh, and suddenly you'll get this whole history lesson um, about uh, something in the universe it's 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 very silly so let me get this straight it's a device that's used as a device yes okay yeah yeah that's <laughs> that's exactly right um, how ironic but it, it, but anyway. Uh, um, Hitchhiker is honestly, in my opinion, I'm, I'm recommending the book, and, uh, and, and, it, and it's really funny. And, and you know, it's I'm recommending the book because it has more stuff in it. But honestly, it was I, I personally think it was better as a radio show. It started as a radio show, and uh, in, in fact, um, the the first two books are basically um, uh, taking. Uh, what was done with the radio show and expanding on it because the because uh, the, the second book is um, restaurant at the end of the universe and uh, that's basically the second portion of the radio show uh, when they go to the restaurant at the end of the universe which is actually um, a restaurant that is forward in time uh, at the end of the at the destruction of the universe so you get to sit um, in a restaurant and look out a window and and and, um, and every few hours watch the universe uh, get destroyed and uh, it's it's, right. it's 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 really amusing. Um, but uh, but anyway, uh, Douglas Adams had this amazing way of putting things in these bizarre ways that like you can't fathom how he would come up with things. Like like um, he would have these really bizarre ways of describing things that are just hilarious. Like it hung in the air like bricks don't. <laughs> I, I just I, I love that. Uh, so 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 anyway, um, the 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 film uh, that, that that you were talking about um, in uh, came out in the early two thousands. Um, it was good, uh, but uh, but honestly, like I said, the the, the radio show is better. Um, and even I even like the um, the old BBC series also. Um, I've got that I've got that on DVD. Um, and uh, it's it's really low budget and uh, kind of and, and kind of funky to watch it that way. But uh, it's it's got a lot. More of the radio show feel than than, than the book does. Anyway, um, it, there's there's so much to talk about with Hitchhiker. It's difficult to uh, to to pick and choose everything just in a recommend. But if you've never, especially if you've never heard of Hitchhiker, uh, definitely pick it up and at least uh, and at least take a look. Um, it's really a big part of um, popular culture, even if you don't know about it. Um, the, the the whole uh, you know life, the universe, and everything. Um, the, the, the the ultimate answer being forty two. Uh, people kick that around all the, all, all the time. People people mention that all over the place. That that came from Hitch Hitchhiker's Guide to the Galaxy, um, and uh, and then. Um, the social commentary is hilarious. Uh, the, the idea that um, whales are smarter than us, and then mice are still smarter than whales. Uh, anyways, and then, and then like mice actually built the Earth as a um, machine to figure out the ultimate answer to the life, the universe, and everything. Uh, it's it's it, to actually find out the question because we know what the answer is. We just can't figure out what the question is. <laughs> what is the question, Vic Sage? Anyway. Uh, <laughs> But anyway, uh, so yeah, that's that's what I recommend. And uh, like I said, I'm sure most of the people uh, watching this have heard of this. But uh, just in case there's somebody who hasn't, I, I felt the need to bring it up. When was this released? This particular volume? I'm not sure. Um, reason being is that apparently uh, uh, this is uh, the '97 edition. Just and, recently, um, I'm like... sure at some point it had a dust jacket. But I actually bought it this way at a used bookstore. 
Apparently, Barnes and Noble has recently released like the complete Hitchhiker's Guide, which is what this is, and it's like a leather-bound, very attractive edition of it. Mm-hmm. So I just thought I'd toss that out. You there. Know, it's like twenty dollars, to my understanding. I say that it may have some extra stuff in it too, because I think um, I think Adams did have some notes for another book he was he was going to write that were that was maybe later released by uh, by his son or something. I don't remember, but um, I had heard that at some point. I'd toss it out there. I haven't seen it. I don't know. I'm just saying I I know of its existence. Oh yeah, there there actually are lots of uh, lots of different editions that um, look way cooler than this. But uh, but anyway, this is this is the one I've got. Um, well, hey, thanks a lot for watching us recommend things. We'll recommend something for you once again next week. I'm Captain Logan and I'm Vince. And we'll see you next time.